Cholesterol is generally regarded as something to avoid when choosing food. There are cereals that promote lowering cholesterol and some dairy products that support healthy levels of cholesterol. But besides knowing that cholesterol exists, what is actually understood about it? Why is it so bad for you? Learning about what cholesterol does to you and for you is an important step in educating yourself about your daily dietary needs. Hello, welcome to Your Health Grid, the channel where you determine your health progress by understanding what you put in your body. Today's topic is cholesterol. Without looking it up, could you honestly say what cholesterol really is? Is it a fat, a mineral, a protein? The average person doesn't actually know what cholesterol is, but they have heard a lot of it, mainly in the form of advertisements. In today's video, we're going to go over what cholesterol is, why people say it's bad for you, and why it can actually be good for you. Let's take a look. Cholesterol is considered a lipid, in the same category as fats, and is an essential structural component of our cells. It's made in the liver, and is needed for making tissues, vitamin D, and cell walls. But unlike fat, you can't burn away cholesterol if you have too much in your body. Cholesterol isn't even a category of food. The food that cholesterol comes from is usually in the saturated fat category. In our saturated versus unsaturated fats video, we discussed that saturated fats usually come from red meat, dairy products, and sweets. So what makes cholesterol bad for you? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. Cholesterol isn't inherently bad for you, especially since it makes up your cells and tissues. There are two types of cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, which is bad, and HDL cholesterol, which is good. Usually, LDL cholesterol is processed and broken down by the liver when HDL cholesterol transports it there. If there's too much LDL cholesterol, or not enough HDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol remains in your blood vessels where they build up fat and clog them. This can cause coronary heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. But if you have more HDL cholesterol in your body, that bad cholesterol will be processed just fine, and you will be fine, since HDL cholesterol protects against cardiac problems. Now that we know what the good and bad cholesterols are, let's learn about some of the foods that increase the production of good and bad cholesterols. Like I mentioned before, LDL, or bad cholesterol, can be mainly found in foods high in saturated fats, like fast food, liver for obvious reasons, fatty meat like chicken legs, desserts, bacon, cheese, and butter. HDL or good cholesterol can be found in foods like oatmeal, beans, olive oil, apples, fatty fish, avocados, berries, and walnuts. Learning which foods are best for you is key to maintaining the right habits. If you're someone who has high cholesterol, try eating some of the foods on our HDL cholesterol list. If you want more information about HDL and LDL cholesterol and other helpful, easy to understand information on nutrition and health in general, I've provided a link for Overall Health by Amer Alk. It's an easy to understand book that starts from the basics of food and over time teaches you how to take control of your nutrition and teaches much of what I do here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. I have more educational videos available for your consumption on the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know what else you would like to learn about in the comments. I read every single one. See you later!